Yo, what is up, guys? Back again to the channel. So as of right now, I'm gonna be talking about my top non-Marvel or DC superhero slash comic book type movies. Know what I'm saying? Um, so basically, this there's no Marvel or DC in this list. Know what I'm saying these are outside of the world of Marvel and DC, but these are my top um uh, movies. All right. First up on the list, we got Hellboy. Uh, it it was meant to be a reboot. Know what I'm saying? Um. I didn't like it as much as I liked the originals, know what I'm saying? But um, I still liked it, know what I'm saying? It was, it was a pretty good, it was a pretty alright storyline, know what I'm saying? Um, it was pretty good. It was pretty crazy too. Much, much, much more bloody and stuff like that than the originals. Alright, next up we got Chronicle. Alright, it's not really a superhero type, um... It's not really a superhero type movie, you know what I'm saying? It's, um... It's it's kind of like you know paranormal par paranormal activity like how they document everywhere they go like it's kind of like a documentary type movie like where the the camera follows them everywhere, it's and it's like from a camera's point of view like you know it's from a camera's point of view, um yeah this is a type of movie but apparently they get superpowers and stuff like that and they go crazy with it you know what I'm saying but yeah next up we got push all right this is a super underrated movie. It's with starring Chris Evans. Um, um, the be, this is before he became Captain America, and after he was the Human Torch in the original Fantastic Four. So, um, yeah, um, he he was pretty good in this movie. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty good. I I like this movie, and yeah, pretty underrated. You you, you kind of have to you kind of have to rewatch it a couple of times to understand it more. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you understand it the first try, you know what I'm saying? That's good. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Next up, we got G.I. Joe Retaliation. All right. Um, it was a pretty decent movie. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really a big, big, big fan of G.I. Joe, but like, it's, it's a pretty good movie. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Next up, we got Turbo. Power Rangers Turbo. All right. This movie's super underrated. Um, I, I know Power Rangers isn't really, um, I mean, I consider Power Rangers a superhero stuff. And, um, and they're not really comic book, but like they 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 they, they released a few comics here and a few comics. So I'm saying, but yeah. Next up, um, we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Okay, I like this movie. You know what I'm saying? I grew up watching this movie. Super underrated. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Um, pretty good movie. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, um, super underrated. Uh, all the cast, the, the movie was good. The villains were good. Everything was good. The CGI, surprisingly, was pretty good, too. But, yeah, next up, we got Hellboy. The very first Hellboy. Um, It was pretty good, you know what I'm saying? I kind of prefer the second one a bit better. But um, I still like this one, you know what I'm saying? It's the original. I really like it, you know what I'm saying? I grew up watching this movie, so I, I, I really, really like it. And, yeah, pretty much that. Um, uh, Pretty much, yeah. And yeah, I like this movie, and it's pretty good. Uh, next up, we got G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. All right. This movie, I like it much, much better. It's not. It's kind of not even close to the second one. Um, I like this movie. Um, it was a pretty good movie for at the time, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, um, pretty much, yeah. I, um, I, I, I obviously, I liked it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't love it. I mean, I mean, I I like this one much better than the first one. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't, but I didn't love love this movie. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Next up, we got Power Rangers, the 2017 movie. All right, this movie's super overhated. All right, this movie isn't even that bad. You know what I'm saying? Not even that bad. But um, definitely had flaws. But you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even that bad. I I I wish it had a sequel. You know what I'm saying? It had a perfect setup to Tommy's uh, Ranger, and this movie was kind of dark. Like, like they kind of had like blood and stuff like that in it. So I feel like if they ha if they brought in Tommy into this universe, it could have been a bit. It could have been awesome. But yeah, next up we got Hellboy: The Golden Army. Okay, I like this movie. I love this movie. You know what I'm saying? It's my favorite Hellboy movie. You know what I'm saying? I love the ending fight scenes. I love the battles and stuff like that. I love the storyline. I love everything about this movie. I love all the characters and stuff like that. I forgot what that what that guy's name is. The fish dude. The fish, fish dude, and um, and there was also that fire girl, and obviously you had Hellboy and and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. Next up, we got GI Joe, uh, Snake Eyes, the uh, Snake Eyes GI Joe Origins. All right, I'm a, I'm I'm probably gonna get hate for this, but I like this movie much much better than the than the other two. 
I love this movie. I feel like we needed a Snake Eye solo movie. You know what I'm saying? He's basically the star of G.I. Joe. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you have people like Duke. Yes, you have people like all the other people. But, like, Snake Eyes is, like, the face of it. You know what I'm saying? You you came to watch G.I. Joe for Snake Eyes. You know what I'm saying? And for most of the time. For most of the time. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. um, I, I like this movie. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I know a lot of people didn't like it. But me, personally, I love it. And, yeah. It's pretty good. good pretty good movie. Next up, we got Kick Ass. All right, this they obviously had comics of this and stuff like that, so obviously I had to include this. And plus, this is this is really awesome. I was actually rewatching the first this one last night, and obviously I can't can't get enough of it. Um, like not too long ago, like a, like a two weeks ago, the um I guess the new director announced that um he announced that um they're they're already in the works for a, a Kick Ass reboot. <laughs> But it's not with Aaron Taylor Johnson, cause like obviously now he's like Jack, like he can't play no nerdy kid. But um yeah, um I guess they're they're doing a whole new casting stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this movie was pretty crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty brutal. Um obviously there's bloody scenes and stuff like that. Um I really like this movie. Like I really do. Um when I was growing up younger, I thought this was like a stupid movie, and I always told myself like no screw it, I'm not gonna watch it. You know what I'm saying? But obviously like as you get older you understand these movies. So I understood it more and then obviously like I, I now I love this movie, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Next up we got Kick Ass Two. Alright. I don't know why people didn't like this movie. Me personally, I really like this movie. It actually felt like Kick Ass was actually actually becoming like a real superhero, you know what I'm saying? And like that scene when he was at the funeral and like that fight scene and like like at the ending battle, like bro, it actually felt like a superhero movie, you know what I'm saying? Before it always felt like a joke type thing. Like obviously here and there you had like superhero stuff, but like it but, like it also felt like a comedy, like him trying to be a wannabe superhero, you know what I'm saying? But that's what made the movie fun. But like like I'm talking about like this movie. This movie actually felt like Kick Ass is actually becoming a real superhero. And by the end of the movie, Hickro runs away and the city needs someone to defend it. And Kick Ass, he obviously held he had like he had like this metal mask type thing. Uh, I don't know what they were gonna do what they were gonna do uh, if they had a third movie. I, I wish they had I wish they did, you know what I'm saying? But but apparently they're gonna do a reboot, so I, I'm I'm excited for that one. But yeah. Um that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, these are all my socials. These are all my socials. You can follow my my personal Insta, Alex Mo two thousand five. My uh, subscribe to my YouTube. Hit hit the like button. You know what I'm saying, um, uh, my TikTok, my super Instagram page. You know what I'm saying, and yeah. Until next time, guys. Peace. Comment what you guys think. Comment your top under your top non Marvel and DC comic book type superhero type movies. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. See you guys next time. Peace.